Time now for Focus here on France 24. Today we're bringing you no less than the world's biggest gathering of humanity. The Kumbh Mela pilgrimage in Alabad in India is underway and expected to draw 100 million people. With that many people involved, it's a lively and colourful affair, with Hindu religious men arriving by elephant-drawn carriage and scores of people ritually washing where three rivers meet. It's also a huge organisational puzzle, with health and safety worries hanging overhead for the duration. We'll be getting more on this from our correspondent after this special report. It's only 4am and already millions have assembled in the bitter cold. A sea of humanity extends as far as the eye can see. They have come from all across India to be part of a ritual cleansing known as the Mahakum Mela. Held once every 12 years, the Mahakum is billed as the largest ever gathering of humanity in a single place for a single purpose. Hindu pilgrims like this businesswoman flock to the banks of this river to take a dip in its holy waters. We come here to find God, to get his blessings. The pilgrims believe a dip in this holy water or even a sip will purify them and lead them to salvation. For many, the river also serves as a holy ground for the immersion of ashes of loved ones. At 6 a.m., the Naga Sadhus, a fiery band of naked ascetics, charge towards the river for the royal bath. Their turn in the water is perhaps the biggest spectacle of the Kumbh Mela. God himself chose this spot. He placed the holy vessel here. Nothing is more sacred in Hinduism than these waters. These holy men who descend from the Himalayas are controversial figures in India, reviled and admired in equal measure. For some Indians, they are beggars and thieves. For others, they are the holiest of men. Some begin their initiation when they're very young. I live to serve my master. We've renounced old worldly possessions, so that's why we don't wear any clothes. Nearly 100 million people are expected to visit this site over the next 55 days. The large crowds pose a logistical challenge for the volunteers and administrative officials. Hey you, your turn is over now. Free up some space. People push each other to try and get into the water quicker. Sometimes there can be stampedes. It can be dangerous. People can get hurt. One of the biggest logistical challenges at the Kum is helping those who are lost. Hundreds of people mill around this public announcement tower looking for those they have lost in the crowds. <laughs> Bine, my husband, wherever you are, please come here. I'm waiting for you. I'm crying. His father is missing. We were taking a dip and when we came out, he was just behind us. Then some people ran behind us and he got lost. Some are reunited with their lost ones in a few hours. But in other cases, it can take days or even weeks to trace the lost in this ocean of millions. Well, Mandakini Gallo, who made that report for us, joins us on the line now from New Delhi. Hi there, Mandakini. Um, I called it organised chaos before. Um, seeing those pictures seems to back that up. What does go into organising an event of this size? It's a massive effort, really. But given that they've had almost 12 years to prepare, everything falls into place fairly well. Now, a temporary subsidy is created specially for the festival. It's spread over 2,025 hectares, and it's constructed and deconstructed in a matter of weeks, complete with cell phone towers, makeshift hospitals, fountains and wells to pump clean drinking water and sewage facilities. Now, remember, on the main bathing days, the crowds can be so large that they're visible from space satellites. So nearly 700,000 tents have been set up in the city to house the millions of pilgrims who are pouring in. It's massive in every possible way, and it costs a lot of money. The estimated budget for the Mahakum this year is nearly 700 million euros. But with all those people coming to Alabad for the festival, does that also generate some revenue back in return for the city? Yes, in fact, it does. It's quite a boon for Alabad, the city that's hosting it. 
The Associated uh, Chambers of Commerce and Industry of India have estimated that the festival will uh, generate nearly 1.6 to 2 billion euros in revenue. It's also expected to create 600,000 new jobs. Of course, these are temporary jobs. And that's just within the organized sector. It would be almost impossible to estimate the economic benefits in the unorganized sector, although a team of international economists is attempting to do just that this year. Now, uh, some of the people that most caught my eye, and I imagine viewers as well, were the Naga Sandhus in your report there. Um, you said that they're controversial in India, but this is surely their moment. Can you tell us more about them? Yes, uh, the Naga Sandhus, they're very interesting. Keep in mind that some of these people were doctors and lawyers and stockbrokers before they gave it all up. Now, they're a fairly secret sect who worship uh, God Shiva, who is the Hindu god of destruction. They're very reclusive, rarely ever seen in public. They live in Himalayan caves that only come down for the Kumela. Mela. Uh, they're feared by a lot of Hindus, and that's owing mostly to their um, matted hair, ash-smeared bodies, and the tridents and swords that they carry. But their principal idea, ideology is one of renunciation, the giving up of the material world, and uh, they believe this will free them from the endless cycle of birth and rebirth and lead them to enlightenment. And uh, we saw some people getting lost, losing their loved ones there. Um, is security a big concern with all these tens of millions of people there? One of the biggest concerns, really. Uh, in fact, there are 30,000 police officers, including paramilitary forces, who've been deployed to ensure law and order. We've seen bomb disposal squads carrying out uh, regular surveys. There are also anti-terrorist squads active on the field. The police... Uh, uh, are not very patient with uh, anyone. There's a three-tire security arrangement in place. So it's a big concern. Definitely a huge event. Thanks so much for covering it for us. Mandakini Gallo reporting there for us from New Delhi.